President Trump says next month's summit with North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un may be delayed, but there is also growing speculation today that it might not happen at all. There have been reports that White House aides will go to Singapore, the scheduled site of the meeting for a crucial planning session this weekend with North Korean officials. South Korea's president met with President Trump yesterday to try to get the summit back on track. Weisha Zhang is at the White House with that part of the story. Weisha, good morning. Good morning, Gail. In a change of tone, President Trump is showing some flexibility toward North Korea, opening the door to the phased dismantling of the country's nuclear program and backing off from his initial demands that Kim Jong-un completely abandon his weapons immediately. It is seen as a possible effort to salvage his planned summit with Kim. There's a very substantial chance that it won't work out, and that's okay. President Trump dialed down expectations that his summit with Kim Jong-un will happen as scheduled on June 12th in Singapore. There are certain conditions that we want, and I think we'll get those conditions. And if we don't, we don't have the meeting. One of those conditions, complete denuclearization, frustrated the North Koreans. The original broker of the summit, South Korean President Moon Jae-in, spent the afternoon with President Trump trying to keep the meeting alive. It's really a, another part of the roller coaster ride. Former CIA official Bruce Klingner said President Trump may have moved too quickly and asked for too much. There are a lot of landmines in the details with, with North Korea. They have different views of what denuclearization is. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo would not commit to the likelihood of a summit. I'm not a betting man, <laughs> so I, I wouldn't care to predict whether it will happen. Mr. Trump suggested Chinese President Xi Jinping may have convinced Kim that the Singapore summit was not in his best interest. I think there was a little change in attitude from Kim Jong-un, so I don't like that. Still, he's not giving up, making a direct plea to Kim, promising a regime change is not part of the plan. We will guarantee his safety, and we've talked about that from the beginning. Uh, he will be safe, he will be happy, his country will be rich. Well, Klingner says that President Trump's theory that Chinese President Xi Jinping had a role in North Korea's latest position indicates a misunderstanding of their relationship. And he adds, those statements threatening to pull out of the summit would have come anyway. John? Weijia, thanks. A safety guarantee is extraordinary.